Yo, what's up? It's Wizard Foo, and today I have shaders finally working good. Um, and the shaders look really good too, man. It adds so much of a good effect to a pixel art game when you have a really nice, accurate shader that's making your pixel art look ten times better. Um, and some gradients too; those help. Let's check it out. I just recorded this little GIF here. This is the GIF version. So as you can see. You see like a little bit of a halo around the screen. You also see some gradients in the corners. Um, let's take a, look, a closer look at the actual game. There's a little bit of a zoom effect going in here too. So it starts off at a certain zoom level and then zooms in a little bit. But you can see um, there's somewhat of an oval shape surrounding the player. There's darkness on the edges and um, that is basically the light. So I've got the shader from Songbringer working so that Songbringer shader could use up to like 16 lights. And right now I've just got one light, one big light focused on the player. Wherever the player goes, the light follows. So that's why you see this sort of oval halo type thing. Um, and uh, that is kind of the, the first most noticeable thing. Then you can also see that the edges of the screen are blurred. So um, way up in the top left corner, top right, bottom left, bottom right, you can see that the little uh, the little brighter pixels in the bushes over there are blurring a little bit. And they blur a lot more if you're zoomed out all the way, but right now we're at a zoom level of about 0.7. So uh, at 1.0, we see more of that blur and more of the screen's edge effects, but I like the way this zoom level about 0.7 is looking right now as far as characters go and uh, in relation to the screen, the arena, the, the bushes, what's going on in the environment. So um, the other thing that you can see is that there is a, a sort of a, um, a gradient in the bottom left and a gradient in the bottom right that goes to black and those are rotated at about 26 degrees, 30 degrees, something like that so that they're, they look like they're sort of um, almost like the edges of a diamond shape and uh, those kind of get blend, give it a little bit more um, just ambiance. And then you can also see, uh, it's actually very subtle, I'm not sure if you can really tell, but the top of the screen sort of has a pinkish hue. That is um, also another gradient being applied. And that pinkish hue is just something that I chose to go with the background color currently so that you would give sort of like a little bit of a hue or, or atmospheric effect. If their atmosphere itself were blue colored or pink colored or whatever, you'd be seeing a little bit of it on the whole screen. So that's what that's for. Um, so all these combined kind of make the whole screen look a lot, a lot better. So also you can see that uh, the player's highlights are dialed in. I used to have the highlights so bright that the player's right shoulder or left shoulder, ex excuse me, the shoulder that's a farthest from the sword, uh, that was too bright. It was just blur. It was like it was so bright that the bloom effect was kicking in and causing it to blur out. So that's why you can see the sword itself has the bloom effect going on. That's what we want. We want the bloom effect only for the brightest pixels. Um, so now that the player's skin doesn't glow, it looks a lot better. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see some of the code. Um, let's see. We're looking at voxels render system. Let's go to render systems animate uniforms. That's kind of like the, the, the core of all this is passing in data to the shaders and there's a ton of it. I mean this is a lot of the stuff from Songbringer uh, with some few tweaks to go with uh, for for this latest engine. Um, but this is uh, you know like levels and overall brightness level a uh, level min and level max like for example if when you're doing you're trying to do the levels effect on Photoshop this would be the bottom and the top values. This is the overall amount of those levels that's being applied. This is the final, it does one more levels after it. There's like two shaders. There's the blend shader and the combined shader. The blend one actually does a lot of the effects for the lighting and the combined shader does some of the blooming and the blurring. So there's actually two levels being applied. There's some color burn, there's some soft light, dark offsets. There's some uh, whole night amount. So I could set this if I want to turn on the night effects. In fact, I haven't even done that yet. Let's try and turn on Let's turn on some twilight. Let's see what it looks like with half twilight. I don't even sure. I'm not even sure if this works. Oh, yeah. So there you go. You kind of have a twilighty effect. Let's do twilight all. Let's do twilight off, 
Let's do night on. Uh, oh my god. Half night, let's say. Oh, that didn't work. Hmm. I wonder if I have a... Uh... Maybe I just didn't set that up. Or I need the... I might need the dark offset, too, for that to work. Anyways, all these are just basically... Sh oh, yeah, that's kind of working. That's what the night effect sort of looks like in Song of Bringer. You have to, I have to play with a lot of the other effects to get it to look right. Like, you, you know, add, increase color burn, um, decrease levels for sure to make it look more like nighttime. But uh, there you go. So let's, uh, let's turn those back to how they were. And uh, so there you have it. That's um, a lot of the work is, is, in, in, is in here where you're passing in. Like, for example, here's the, some lights. And everything is divided and sort of inversed and everything so that it makes uh, applying them in the shader the fastest possible. And so instead of using divides in the shader, you can divide beforehand and pass in some divided values already so that you don't have to do as much math inside your shaders and waste as much GPU. So, um, and those, of course, have to be applied to both of the shaders, the combined shader and the blend shader. I need all these special values. They're very, very custom uh, secret saucy shaders. So, um, uh, there you have it. That's all for this video and thanks for watching. We'll catch you all next time.